Hey, gentle oven. oven. <laughs> Otherwise known as a Please microwave. Please don't put babies in ovens. <laughs> Snow dad's better than no dad. Oh. <laughs> oh. You got yourself like some hot cocoa. You got like a little Christmas movie on. Mm -hmm. And you're all in your little blanket. With your... G'day, g'day. How's it going? My name is Travis from Australia. And my name is Alex from England. And I'm Swanee from America. And welcome back to Pagoda One. You know, it's getting a bit cold now. So we thought we could go over some winter or cold related idioms. As someone who does not come from a cold place, this is a bit difficult. Was this easy for you as someone who comes from a cold place? Uh, it wasn't super difficult. I did have to sort of like jog my memory a little bit, mm. but I wasn't like perplexed at the phrases I saw. Mm. Whereas maybe you guys were a little bit more like, what is cold weather? Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so who is going to start? <clears throat> I'll first, I guess. <laughs> these are ones that I can use. Like, technically, you can use these even if it's not cold outside. But my first one is to bundle up. Mm -hmm. Basically, it just means you get all cozy. You know, when it's cold outside and you get some really cozy blanket and you just make yourself into like a little burrito. <laughs> that is, we say you're bundled up, mm -hmm. right? Or like, you know, when a baby, like you put your baby into like a little burrito. You know what I mean? Like with the blank, like the, the baby's all bundled up. Yeah, so yeah. you say the baby's all bundled up yeah. and they're all make, tight in there. Make, makes you think, you know, warm thoughts. Exactly. Um, yes. very, very snug. Yes. Very happy. Yes. Yeah. You're, you're basically in a very gentle oven. G gentle, gentle oven. oven. <laughs> Otherwise known as a Please microwave. Please don't put babies in ovens. <laughs> I'll go next, I guess. So my first phrase is dead of winter. If you want to emphasize just how cold it is, if you have to do something or if you find yourself in a situation where you have to do something and it's really, really cold, like if it's the middle of winter, if it's the coldest point of winter, you can say in the dead of winter. So you could say, for example, like my car broke down in the dead of winter. I was on the highway and I had to call AAA in the dead of winter, something like that. And you would probably say this in a country that actually has cold weather. If you said this in Australia and it's like the middle of, you know, whatever month is winter in Australia, August or something. Um, you know, it's like, oh no, it was it was twenty degrees. It's like it's, it's not that it's not that bad. Really, I mean, at yeah. night time, it does get uh, it does get cold. Sure, but, but you're not gonna die, right? <laughs> it, up north, you won't. Yeah. No, but if you're in, I don't know, Minnesota mm. or Scotland, Sweden, or something, to be in a situation where it's the dead of winter mm. is. Quite unpleasant. Yeah, since you brought it up. You can also use the dead of with nighttime. The dead of night, yes, that's true. So that one, you don't have to wait for winter. You can use that every day. Yeah. Usually it's bad. It's usually a bad situation. It's not a good situation. So mm. we, we wouldn't say like the dead of day or the dead of summer or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's kind it of dark, spooky, mm. no yes. light. A little bit scary, a little bit unnerving. Ominous. Death is possible in this situation oh because of the weather. <laughs> yes. So, mine might need a bit of context, but the idiom is Jack Frost nipping at your nose. So, for context, Jack Frost is a mythological folklore individual? Mm -hmm. Individual? I, I could, figure. That was the word I was thinking about. Basically, he is the cold weather. He brings the cold weather. He is the cold weather. <laughs> it's, it's also a movie from the late 90s starring Michael Keaton. Oh, there do, you go. Do, do you know what the tagline was? No. Snow dad's better than no dad. Oh. Because <laughs> oh. he gets turned into a snowman. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no wonder, because like when I heard Jack Frost, I, I kept thinking that was a snowman. Yeah. Snow dad's better than no like dad. That is true. Too? I mean, There's an be. animation. Guardians yeah. something? It was a uh, kid's show. Yeah, yeah. In like, the, like seven years ago or something? Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. Jack Frost, Tooth Fairy, Santa, the Easter Bunny, mm -hmm. and Sandman. And they fight against the Boogeyman. Oh, wow. Yeah. Good wow. for them. I don't remember the name of it, though. Sa Santa Claus doesn't look like he can fight. <laughs> so you just in the show, he's like a <laughs> giant, uh, like, Viking. <laughs> no, okay. every, every time I see Santa portrayed in something, like, he's always, like, can I say badass? He's a badass every time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
I don't know what movies you've been seeing. Whenever I see Santa, he looks like a septuagenarian with white hair, beard, and a giant belly. Oh, you know, he looks you like when he right goes thing. to the yes. doctor, the doctor says to him, "You need to give up sangers. You need to you need to give up like bad food." Everybody knows Santa's a badass. Okay, I don't know what you've been watching, but we know. Circling back to Jack Frost. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so, basically, he brings the cold. He is the cold. So uh, him nipping at your nose is the cold is getting to you. You're either gonna get sick or you're gonna be like you're gonna freeze. Mm -hmm. Which also involving the word nipping, you can say nippy when it is cold as well. It's nipping. It's like biting at you. Mm. What's your second one, Swan uh, Swanster? So. Swan Swanometer. Swanometer. The Swanometer. Swanometer to Swanment's Day. Sorry, go on. <laughs> My second one is similar to my first one, like the edition, is snug as a bug in a rug. Hey. Which is basically the same as bundle up, honestly. Yeah. Earlier you said like you feel really snug and like mm -hmm. it's just the same as feeling really cozy mm -hmm. and you feel really like warm. Just imagine the vibe, like it's really cold mm. outside and you got like a little fire going, not in Florida, but wherever mm. you live, <laughs> that it's really cold. You got yourself like some hot cocoa, you got like a little Christmas movie on, mm -hmm. and you're all in your little blanket with your little... You're um, watching You're watching Jack Frost starring Michael Keaton. <laughs> <laughs> you're watching a movie where Santa's a badass. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> And you got your little socks on, your little winter socks. Yeah. Then you can say, ooh, I am snug as a bug in a rug. Yeah, like yes. bun bundle up is the verb, it's the action. Mm -hmm. Snug as a bug in a rug is the feeling. Yes. It's how you feel after you bundle up. Exactly, mm -hmm. thank you. Yeah. My next one is under the weather. So if it's the dead of winter, and Jack Frost is nipping at your nose, and you catch something, you catch maybe a cold or the flu, then uh, you, co you call your, your company, you call Mr. Boss, boss Man or Mr. Boss Woman, and you say, I'm sorry, I can't come in today, I'm under the weather. And they go, okay, I understand, but I'm not gonna pay you because I'm a terrible boss. And then they hang on the phone. <laughs> yeah. So basically, to be under the weather means to be sick. And you are sick because it is winter, so it's that time of year where all these viruses sort of gather in these damp warm rooms and everybody congregates together so to be under the weather is to be sick. Do you remember the last time you were under the weather? No. Yeah, neither do I. It's, yeah. been, it's been years. What, for years? Yeah, maybe 2018? No, I've gotten food poisoning a lot since coming to Korea. Really? Yeah. People were telling me like it's because like my stomach doesn't match like Korean like mm. food and greens. But like I'm Korean and then I came to Korea like almost every year so like I don't know what happened. Yeah, maybe it's stress. Well I but I've only had food poisoning once or twice. Uh, the last time was when I had dampong and I have not had it since. Because I had it and then I was on the bus the next day and I I did something in my mouth and I was like threw off the brush and I went off and yeah. And uh, I haven't thrown up since. That was twenty thirteen. Yeah. So Ew, yeah. man. Yeah. Under the weather. <laughs> mm. My Second one is blanket of snow. Mm -hmm. So this is just a nice, simple one. Nothing to do with throwing up. <laughs> it is... Uh, or Jack Frost. <laughs> Jack Frost. <laughs> or Michael Keaton. You don't need context for this one. It is just to do with snowing. If there is a lot of snow and the snow has completely covered everything, mm. that is a blanket of snow. So it's a nice, picturesque image of white. Everything is white. Mm -hmm. And it's just very pretty, very pristine, mm. perfect, especially if it's fresh snow. Mm. Looks very, very nice. Mm -hmm. And then it melts and everybody steps on it and it turns into like this brownish <laughs> slug. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's, yes. Not, that's, not a, yeah, that's not a blanket of snow. <laughs> yes. Especially here in Korea because it can still get humid in winter. So then it'll snow and then literally the next day it's just gross. Yeah, especially in the city where people are walking a lot. Nice. All right, that's All right. it. All right, what uh, what phrases did we forget? Let us know in the comments. What are some uh, idioms about weather that you guys use? Also, let us know. And don't forget to like and comment. And subscribe. And hit that bell as well. Thank you very much, everybody. Take care. This was Pagoda One. Bye.